submit translated e invoice before the seventh calendar days of the following month. Okay. So um, if all the customer buy the smartphone on 11 September, okay, and then they did not request for invoice, so Bobby issue normal receipt lah. And then next month before the 7th October of the calendar days uh, include the cuti juga. So he needs to submit the consolidated e invoice. Okay. So same goes to also the sellers with multiple branch. Okay. If uh Kedai Electric Electronic Smart Gadget has two branch, which is at Ipoh and Selango. Okay. So each branch branch must have one consolidated. So one from Selango and one from Ipoh. Okay. And that means have two consolidated e invoice. Lah. Okay. So in our auto account, consolidated e invoice concept, you can categorize it by document type, by location, and by currency code. Okay. So here we have the new consolidated e-invoice function, which is go to e-invoice, and then consolidated e-invoice, okay? And then here you click new, it will ask you to set the date lah. And normally we set first of the month and then until the end of the month, one month lah, okay? And then you can choose the document type, either it's invoice, cash sale, credit note, debit note, or post, okay? You can select by period and document type, okay? And then, Process transaction by period that is not submitted, okay? Means this transaction is not submitted as standard invoice, so system will collect it as consolidated, okay? So, this one I show you first, the consolidated. So, you go to invoice, how to submit, huh? Go to consolidated e invoice, okay? And then you click new, okay? Uh, this one I prepare a few samples, okay? Let's say this one should be it will uh, consolidate by one month. Lah. But this one I want to show you the sample. So I put there are transactions within that range. It's still pending submitted fail or invalid status. Please ensure the invoice status are up to date. So otherwise click yes button to proceed and create consolidated invoice. So I click yes. Okay, so here I have few currency, okay, and document type, okay. So system will auto categorize the document by document and then by type. So let's say this one is for invoice. You can click inside. So this one are all invoice that not sent as standard lah. So they will send. They will send as consolidated. Okay, so you can see fifty nine to sixty one, and then. 62 until 66, maybe I sent as standard or I already cancelled. So it will not include either consolidated e invoice. And it continue with EI0067. Okay. And then it will also categorize it by uh, currency. So this one is different currency. So it is in one document. Okay. So to check, you can save. So it will create you three consolidated e invoice. Okay. So this one is for the currency with USD. This one is currency for MYR. Okay. So another one, if let's say you're, you want to console for different location. Okay. So let's say I have two branch. So once I generate, so it will uh, group your sales based on your branch. Lah. So this one is from HQ. This one is from Ipoh. This one is from Manjo. Okay. And then you can save. So it will create another three e invoice. Okay. So now you can see all the consolidated invoice is already added. Okay. okay if uh, your customer requests the invoice after uh, the month she purchased, so you can tell your customer, sorry, we cannot provide you e invoice because it's already past your month of purchase.